Uh, actually, before we get into any of that, can I mention, like, Kofi, I will say, is far too humble, far too do the right thing to mention this. But I'm going to say this because it's never been said, really, not publicly. But Kofi's a guy that had his legs cut out from underneath him. To see what happened with the match with him and Brock, and then to see no title opportunity after that, he just goes mm -hmm. back into tag teams and whatnot. You, you, you know what I mean? That That's disrespectful. And I will say, nah, you I will say that. we joke. And whatever. Yeah, why not? Why not? Okay, because I was WWE champion at one time, and the same thing happened to me, and I needed to rebuild and re group myself. I wish I could have taken Kofi and said, look, you need to to make sure that whatever happens after your WWE championship run, that you don't lose that main event status, that you don't feel like you are not a top star in WWE. And I, honestly, I was a victim of that. I was. There is uh -huh. no doubt in my mind that I should have been where I was. But now, I'm keep working and keep working and keep working and keep dedicating myself yep. to try to be a WWE champion once again. So That's why I'm sitting out here telling you, your jokey stuff, it's fun, it's great, it's entertaining, uh -huh. but it's not going to work to get you to the Universal Championship. So, wait, did you wait 11 years to get your first uh, world title opportunity? I don't think so. No. You didn't. But it's been a long time since I've had right. another WWE well, Universal Championship. You've gotten many opportunities, and I get you're very talented. You're very deserving. Kofi waited 11 years for that one opportunity. Then it was gone. Poof. Just like that. Back to doing tag stuff. Back to doing normal stuff. And like I said, I but could he sit allowed here. it. He could have he fought that, couldn't he have? How? What do you mean, how?